Hey everybody, what's up? Jester here, your favorite fat man, and today we are doing a, well, two unboxings in one. Now, in case you missed Loot Crate, everybody did. Don't worry about it. I went to record that one, and, well, yeah, I didn't have the microphone unmuted. Double check to make sure it is, in fact, unmuted and recording. Um... A week ago, was it a week ago now? No, it was a few days ago. For whatever reason, my computer decided to arbitrarily upgrade from Windows 7, where I was happy and everything worked, to Windows 10. Now, at the time, the better half in the hospital, a little bit of an emergency, everything is fine, she's doing great, um, no issues, just one of those scare things. I get home that night and 75% installed for Windows 10. I wasn't even here, so not quite sure what happened. I'm having a lot of audio issues between the two machines. But that's not what here we are here to bitch about. These guys. I believe these are the last two boxes for the month of May, which is a good thing because we're getting close to the end of May, beginning of June. We have Geek Fuel and we have Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. Now, if I recall, and Geek Fuel I'm still very unfamiliar with, it does not have a general theme, whereas Smuggler's Bounty does. And this month's theme is Bounty Hunters. I went blank there for a minute. Um, it's bi-monthly, every other month it shows up. So we've been excited for this one so much that I have a second one. For Little Man. Chances are it's going to have the same stuff, but he gets his own and he's happy about that. So without further ado, we're going to get into Geek Fuel, Geek Fuel first, Smuggler's Bounty second. Now, I do want to do something. Um, obviously, my channel is growing exponentially slower, um, which sucks. But I want to try something that when we get to 100... I am going to gift away a month subscription to a box of choice per one of the subscribers. Um, and it's going to be one of those. I'll do a video. Hey, congratulations. You won. You have a week to get in contact with me. If not, there'll be another video. And this potentially could go on for months at a time until we actually have somebody who finds out they win to contact me which could provide more videos for the channel. It's weird. Anyhow, when we hit 100, which is not that far off, it's only 50, but it took me a year to get to 40-something. Um, when we get 100, I'll give away one month. When we get to 250 or 500, depending on how quickly we grow, I will give away a three-month to the box of choice. Unless, of course, it's Smuggler's Bounty, Collector Core, um... DC's Legion of Collectors because they are once every other month. One of those, it's going to be a six month, but you're going to get three of them. Still getting three boxes. And then maybe, depending on how long this continues, if we get to a thousand, who knows? I'm game. Anyhow, um, without further ado, Geek Fuel at its finest. I've always said since the first time I got a Geek Fuel box. They do an absolutely amazing job with their packaging. Now, that sounds strange, because Smuggler's Bounty, they have a box. It's designed. It holds everything in place. But Geek Fuel, the way they package stuff, is just absolutely phenomenal. And if the day ever comes that I've got a, a bigger desk, because I want more real estate, to where I could do these videos, kind of back the camera up, bring it up a bit so you can see more of what's going on, you'd be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not, because I open them right here, it's not like I can say, hold on, snap a picture. Okay, that's cheesy. I'm not going to do that. Anyhow, let's dive right in, make sure that nothing is covered. Um, looks like they put the cards in on top. Uncharted. Weaponography. I am not sure what this is. $10 value. The Weapon of Graphist is a high-speed, top-down, dungeon-crawling arena combat game. You play as Doug. Um, download your copy on Steam. So I got a free game out of it. 
I'm going to do some research. I'm going to figure out if this is like the old gauntlet style, I might keep it. I might give it away. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. Got a couple of Uncharted 4, what looks to be postcards. Um, that's just a cover. Oh, there's a cup. There's a cup of some form. A Geek Fuel cup. This is actually very cool. Always see stuff ah, exclusive to Geek Fuel, exclusive to this, and you truly wonder if it is, in fact, exclusive. Um, in the last Loot Crate box, I got a shirt for World of Warcraft which the tag was Loot Crate, so it is exclusive to Loot Crate because it didn't just slap a stupid sticker on it. But that is actually very cool. I like that a lot. And it's glass. It's not cheap plastic. Okay, there is a shirt. Looks kind of purple-ish. I am not a huge fan of purple. Let's see here. Lancaster Estates. Tyron's Vineyard. That might have to do with something that I am unaware of. So we will have to look at whatever the little book says. Because all these boxes come with that little card or the little magazine thing. That kind of give you an idea of exactly what it is. Well, except for the Star Wars and all well, that because you know it's Star Wars. Okay, this is in a burlap bag. Kind of reminds me of the old um, Crown Royal bags. Except not as well done. Let's see here. But it's like an old burlap crap everywhere. That's a little box. It's got a ring in it. A ring. Interesting. On a chain. Interesting. Um... So I'm guessing there is some kind of a theme to this. I'm unaware of the theme because I'm stupid and I didn't do my research. So we're going to go ahead and put that back in there. Continuing on the box. Give me one second to take care of something. Don't want TeamSpeak interrupting. Okay. Like, see this? As I cover my face up. Because nobody wants to see that ugly thing. Westeros and the Free Cities. That was in there covering the burlap bag that had the thing with the thing. Okay. There is oh, a little Deadpool figurine. See, it's random. You got stuff from Uncharted. You got that free game. You got that shirt from some vineyard. It just, it just screams random to me. That, okay, it could all be the exploration, like Uncharted 4, you're going out exploring and stuff like that. But then this goofy little Deadpool figurine pops up. Though he's cool. Look at this little guy. It's one of those things you can just kind of sit. All right, meow. Yeah, Deadpool's going to hang out there. He's going to watch the rest of the, watch me record the rest of the video. And pull the other stuff. Deadpool drawing. Kinda cool. Geek Nation community. This month's shirt comes all the way from Westeros. Everyone's favorite Lannister is bringing Geek Nation community. Not sure. I'm going to have to do a lot more research on that. Because it makes no sense. Sir Francis Drake's Lost Ring. So that is, I believe, Uncharted. I, I haven't played Uncharted. So all this stuff could very well be from Uncharted. Well, a lot of it. Not so Uncharted-like. That is Deadpool. His ouchy drawing. That's kind of cool. Um... And then the elusive book. Let's see if the book says anything more about that uh, shirt, Westeros. And see, this is where I'm fortunate that I don't have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that watch my watch my stream or 
watch all that stuff because then I'd get trolled. Ah, oh, you're you're stupid. It's from this. How come you didn't know that? Blah 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 blah. Because I don't know it. Um, skimming over it real quick. It doesn't tell me, and I'm not gonna sit here and spend God knows how long. Yep, not even gonna worry about it. So it looks like a lot of this had to do with Uncharted and un the Uncharted Four release and whatnot. Again, this game, check it out. Let me know if you think I should give it away. You think I should keep it and try it out. Hell, I could put the damn thing up on YouTube. That'd be a novel idea. So we're going to stack this up over here with the rest of my open boxes. And we are going to report over to Smuggler's Bounty. Save the best of two for last. Like I said, I've been looking forward to this one. Okay, right up top, you have the patch, the Fet Man himself, and then the pin. They have always done up their pins. I really like that. Okay, t-shirt coming right up the top. Ah, oh, four long. A few different bounty hunters. That's cool. I'm not gonna open it up. I'll kind of show you. It's got like a almost schematic style of all the different or of a lot of the different bounty hunters. So that's very cool. Oh. Oh shit, son. Two exclusive Foco Pops. Now, if you hadn't guessed by looking around the room above my head, the I'd say 75% of the room has that same shelving to it. All Funko Pops, you can see behind me there's a bunch over there. Because we're out of room and we need to add another shelf. This month, IG-88, the Funko. Let's see here. There's a few other... Bounty Hunters and whatnot listed. So we got IG-88 exclusive. So let's talk about the sticker. We don't know if it truly is exclusive or not. Because there are other ones where they had up here Smuggler's Bounty. And I'm not going to go back there. Let me get started. Um, we are going to grab Captain Phasma in her chromed out gear. As you can see at the top of the box, Smuggler's Bounty, no sticker. They actually did the box up. Whereas with this one, just the sticker. Oh, yeah, here's the other one. The Fett Man himself, Boba Fett. Um, and he's taken off. So this one's very cool. If this one's in the other box as well, Little Man's going to lose it. He's a huge Boba Fett fan. And then, of course... As you already saw, IG-88. Looks like Forlom. Blue Senate Guard. Actually, I wonder if all of these are available. I don't know if you can see that. But those might be the ones available in this particular series for Star Wars. So who knows? Any one of those could be in, in his box. If he gets Boba Fett, he's going to be excited. I really hope he gets Boba Fett. Because that way he doesn't try to take mine. Anyhow, that is that is that. So again, if we get to 50 or if we grow 50 or 75, I haven't decided yet. Um, I'll go ahead and throw in a free month. I will do that. Um, free month through the box of your choice. Any of them that you see on my page. Um, and you can see down the other side. Those are the ones that I get regularly that you have the potential to see on here. If there are other boxes, now there was a Geek Crate I heard about in the UK that ships over here, but I couldn't find any information on it. So if there are others that are into the geek stuff um, that you think I might enjoy, hit me up in the comments, send me a message somehow, let me know. Hey, I might check them out. Anyhow, until next month, next month is a Marvel month, not a Star Wars or DC. We will see the Marvel Collector's Core. Um, 
can't remember exactly what that box is about, but it's not important until next month. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll catch up with you then.